In this video, we're going to integrate our Cisco Email Security Appliance with SecureX. In order to integrate our ESA, we're going to have to connect it to the Security Services Exchange. To get there, I'll click on the Launch button on the left-hand side of the SecureX dashboard. I'll click Login to have my single sign-on carry me right in. The first thing I'll want to do is to go to the Cloud Services tab on top and enable Cisco Threat Response and Eventing. As you can see, I've already done this, so there's nothing to enable. So I'll go back to the Devices tab and click the Addition button to add a new device. I'll keep the settings at default and then copy the token. Now I'll swing over to my Email Security Appliance dashboard and navigate to Network and then Cloud Service Settings. I'm going to click the Edit Settings button and enable Cisco Threat Response. I'm going to click Submit and then Commit the Changes. After committing those changes, it usually takes about a minute for the cloud service to be ready. Just wait and refresh the screen. Once it's ready, it'll have a field to paste the token in. After pasting the token, I'll click on the Register button to register this device. It usually takes a couple more seconds after that to show the registration is completed. After that's done, let's swing back to our Security Services Exchange and refresh the device list. We now see our device registered there, so I'm going to go back to the SecureX dashboard and navigate to Integrations. I'll add the module for the Email Security Appliance, and from the drop-down, I'll choose the ESA from the available list. For the requested time frame, I'll just choose 30 days and click Save. Now let's go to our dashboard. I'm going to add some tiles from the Email Security Appliance into it, and I'll, I'll add all the available ones for this video. Just to make this a little easier to see, I'm going to go ahead and resize some of these existing tiles. So one thing I noticed right away is that there is an exclamation point and no data. I learned that sometimes it might take a few seconds initially for the data to register for the ESA. Usually I just need to click the refresh button on the bottom right hand uh, corner of the tile and the information will show as you can see here. The last thing I'm going to do is just resize these tiles in my dashboard, so give me about 30 seconds while I do so. Customizing this dashboard makes it just a little bit more appealing for me. Now as you can see, I have a pretty dashboard with a high level view of the alerts for my ESA and SecureX. And this view is now customized for me. That's all there is to this initial integration. Thank you so much for watching this video.